Are you stuck playing The Sims 4 and want something to spice up your gameplay? This Life Decider will definitely help you. I recently came across this Life Decider mod, which basically randomizes a bunch of things about your sim. And this was conceived mainly because some, you know, sims that you can download from the gallery don't have that story mode option as you would normally do with a sim when you are creating it in cast. That was a great alternative for those sims as well or for the townies or other sims that you may have in the world and that don't necessarily have a, you know, predetermined career path, you know, some predetermined skills so that you can, you know, just try to create some bonds in The Sims 4 based on their interests and to basically just create an outline, a storyline for those. If you feel like you are stuck in a rut and you are and creative enough when it comes to your storyline in The Sims 4. And now I'm primarily talking about the live mode part. Just a quick tutorial on how to install this mod. You just need to access this website. Just click this button which says download public release. This will take you to a sim file share website and then you need to download it. You might be wondering, is this mod safe? It should be safe because you are downloading it off a certain certified, you know, secured website. And so if you do download your mods from certified well-known websites, you won't have to worry about installing mods in CC. But if you download things off the sketchy website, it is definitely something that you need to worry about. But in this case, we're good to go. As you can notice over here, it is an archive, which means that we are going to use a file extractor program. If you are on Windows, you can use WinRAR to open that file with WinRAR and then just drag and drop the content within that archive, if that makes any sense. If you're on a Mac, you just need to double click on that, you know, archive and then just copy the content that is inside that archive and then put it directly into your mods folder. You need to put the whole folder, like Life Decider folder within your main mods folder. Do not create yourself a subfolder for that folder, you know? And now you might say that you're good to go and your mod is installed. I know this thing is pretty obvious, but there are some people out there who really need to hear a complete walkthrough on the installation process. So you need to open up your game, go to game options right over here, other, make sure you take these two boxes which say enable custom content and mods as well as script mods allowed. You can also go to view custom content and check this box over here because this will basically show all of your mods, all of your CC that you have installed in your mods folder right at a startup so that you know that you've installed those mods correctly and that they appear and work into your game. Okay, apply changes and then exit your game if you are, you know, making these settings for the very first time. But if you did have them enabled beforehand, you are good to go. What household should I pick? Okay, never mind. I think I'm gonna go with this one because it has a toddler in it. And if you are wondering, this mod also works for toddlers and kids. So that is so great. I'm pretty sure it doesn't work for babies, but as far as toddlers, kids, teens, elders, adults, young adults go, those will 100% be compatible with this mod. You just need to basically click on your active sim. So like do not click on any other sim than your chosen one, if that makes any sense. And then you should see this, the side Tyler's life or whatever your sim name might be. Option over here, it says this will give the sim a career, income, starter skills, and a trait. Now, again, this is great if you're just starting out with a sim and that specific sim has no story behind him or her. So it's always great to be able to randomize those things and to, you know, just create a storyline along the traits and the skills that you have been given. So once you click on that, a bunch of notifications will pop up in the upper, you know, right part of your screen. Here we have the gardening skill, cooking, handiness, logic, piano, mixology, a bunch, a bunch of skills. And we also have a bunch of moodlets that have appeared thanks to that specific mod. So even though I don't have any other packs installed, like I only have the base game right now, as you can see right here, this is 
telling me that his career choice is to go to the Foxbury Institute and I don't even have Discover University installed. So I really like how it incorporates things from other packs. Obviously it's a downside if you don't own that pack but uh, it's still such a nice thing. Bank savings, bonus straight attractive, you know, new friends, social life average. So I like how it generates, you know, random skills. We're also going to try this out on our little toddler. Just go to Live Decider and then just click on Decide Your Toddler's Life, you know. This will give your Sims a head start in life or a little history. Your Sim will be given an increase in skills. This is intended to only be used once at age child and once at age toddlers. Basically, you can use this twice and then in the adult, young adult, elder life, you can only do it once. So when it comes to toddlers and kids, you can do it once at each age stage, if that makes any sense, okay? So once you click that, a bunch of notification will appear and a bunch of skills will appear. The new skills that have appeared are imagination, potty and thinking. And really like how the advancement is that the correct term. And these skills are pretty different. I'm pretty curious to see if those will ever give like a level two or three skill. That is a good question. We also have a bunch of moodlets. Friends, small amount. It says the game will generate you friends and enemies, which can take up to one day, one sim day. So you'll have to wait one sim day in order for this mod to generate a list with like friends and enemies, which is so nice. Okay, let me just uh, make her happy because she is obviously dirty. And you can also decide all lives near your sim. You can decide your sim's social life, your sim's, you know, banish trade, which is a cheat. You should avoid this if you already have one and this is applicable to teen, young adults, adults and elders. You can also randomize a career. You can randomize an income, your sim skills. So let's just go for the income and as you can see right here it instantly added simoleons. We can also randomize her skills. We have the guitar skill, we have the piano skill, some more modlets over here. And I was pretty curious about the enemies and friends situation, but it takes up to one sim day in order for those to show up in a relationship panel. Let's just randomize her career. She entered the entertainer career, which is so nice. As you can see right here, this sim doesn't have a job, so you can very easily click on your active sim. Let's go to Life Decider, randomize his career. You can also randomize his bonus trait, which is high metabolism. I wonder if we click on the very same randomized career, we are going to get another career or we are just going to stick with this one. We are going to stick to this one once you have, you know, generated one. You can also remove your bonus traits if you would like to. The thing that you need to know is that whenever you choose to pick the side all lives near your sim, this cannot be, you know, deactivated. Once you activate it, each and every sim that will eventually come into your family that is either, you know, born or just added from the gallery will automatically be given or be generated a set of skills, a career and all that, those social aspects and all that. So please keep in mind that once you have clicked on that specific one, there's no going back. And I was pretty curious to see if we can also do something about our townies. But as I said before, you really need to select your desired sim whose life you want to be changed and then select that mod. You cannot play as a character and then just go to an NPC and try to decide her life. You know, you have to be Katrina in order to decide her life, okay? I'm pretty sure that townies or NPCs already come with a set of skills and careers. Correct me if I'm wrong. And if we add a sim to our household, she will be instantly be given some money because her income will be generated, some skills, a bonus trait, a career, a social life and all that. Do I like this mod? Of course I do. Now, this is very useful, especially when you are stuck 
when it comes to a new sort of gameplay but uh, it also kind of replaces that you know create a story mode it's also also great that you are able to generate some predetermined things about your sim that will be added you know later on into the family because once you have a brand new sim in your family you cannot go into that story mode and maybe you are willing to generate and be able to play around with your sims life so i really really like it we do need some more gameplay aspects of the sort Definitely let me know in the comments down below if you find this mod useful. Would you try it in your game or are you just, you know, not into it? If you liked this type of content, please make sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that good jazz. Hit that notification bell to be notified whenever I'm uploading a new video because it truly, truly helps me a lot. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time with a brand new, exciting and helpful video for you. Have an awesome day just like you. Bye guys.